Hello, my name is Carol House. I'm a physiotherapist and a Pilates teacher. Today we're going to go right back to basics and we're going to go for a very beginner's Pilates. It's never a bad time to start Pilates. Never at any age, any body types can all do Pilates and it can only just improve your body forever. Um, I love Pilates so much and I'm just going to today show you the main principles of Pilates and um, work your way through them. We've got our breathing, we've got our centering, we've got our neutral spine, we've got control, balance and repetition. So they're the main principles we're going to work through today. So we just need a mat or if you don't have a mat you can just have a towel on a um, carpet would be quite nice and sometimes it's quite nice to have a head block if you've got neck issues you can have a little head block as well. So we're going to come from there, we're going to come lie down on our mat and we're going to think about our breathing. So lengthen through the neck, lengthen through the spine, settle yourself down on the mat with your shoulders nice and long down your, um, towards your ankles. We're going to take a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I want you to be aware of your ribs because we're going to be breathing nice and wide down into our lower ribs and we want our ribs to expand laterally as we breathe in and then draw back down again as we breathe out. Breath in. And breath out. Don't let the breath go into your neck and into your shoulders. Keep that neck nice and long. So keeping that lovely breath going on, we're going to think about our neutral spine. Think about the pressure through the back of your head. You'll have a natural curve in your, in your uh, cervical spine. Your shoulders are equal pressure on the mat, all the way down towards your sacrum, and you'll have a little curve for your lumbar spine down on the mat. Some people have a big curve, some people have a little curve, so don't worry, just work with what you've got. We're going to think about just seeing if we can keep that nice and safe so we don't over arch or over flatten. Let's see how much movement we have. So flatten the back down into the mat, keep the chin tucked in, and then gently extend into the sky, make an arch and a hollow underneath your back. Flatten down again into the mat, and a little arch going on into the sky. Now I want you to think about a nice natural soft curve in your low back. So you're going to softly let your low back drop down. You're not going to force it to go down. You're not going to arch it. You're just going to keep that. And that's your neutral spine. And you're going to try and keep that during a lot of your exercises. We'll go through that again. So we've got the breathing. We've got the neutral spine. And now we've got to think about centering. Bringing the power into the middle and into the tummy. Your low tummy muscles are very important for controlling your spine and your posture. If you just get your fingers just below your belly button and give your belly, bit of, belly button a little bit of a poke into those muscles. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, try and draw your tummy down away from your trousers. Think about the two bones on your waist being pushed in together. Give your belly a poke with your fingers, cue it up and say, come on tummy, let's get going. Scooping into that low tummy. Breath in through your nose, out through your mouth again, drawing that tummy down and in, firm to the touch. And I don't need to flatten your back. Your back is not being squished at the same time. Your back is staying soft and neutral. It just takes a little bit of concentration, another Pilates rule. So really think about drawing in and down. Breath in and breath out, drawing the tummy down again. Pretend you've got a tight pair of jeans on and you're trying to zip those jeans up on the bed. They're really tight around your tummy, that natural course of drawing down and in towards your pelvis. Okay, so now we've got our breathing, we've got our neutral spine, we've got our centric. Now let's think if we can manage to concentrate and keep all those in line while we do some movements. So keeping your ribs down, arms long, take a breath in, pin your sh shoulders down into the mat. We're going to take your left leg into tabletop, make a nice little table with your shin. Keeping everything else steady, we're going to see if we can drop that out to the side, keeping the other leg still and scooping back. So your pelvis is not going to rock and roll, your tummy's switched on all the time to help you draw back in. And over the other side again, scoop, keep those ribs down and in. Sometimes it's a good idea to hold onto your own pelvis to make sure it's not moving. Scoop. And scoop. Very good. And float that toe down to the floor. Very nice. Let's go the other side. Shoulders down again. Re always keep reconnecting yourself. Soft neutral. Other knee steady. Pelvis steady. Switching on those tummy muscles. Get centered. Over to the side with your table. Draw back in the middle. Breathing in. Legs steady. You can have a look at it if you want to to make sure it's not moving. Scooping. Look harder than it looks. Scooping down. Draw back in with that tummy. One more. Out you go. 
and scooping back in the middle and floating back down. Now we'll see if we can manage to do the same thing with our arms moving, keeping everything else steady in the middle. Soft neutral spine, ribs down, strong tummy, arms long. As we lift the arms up into the sky, we're going to not let those ribs pop out. Keep your shoulder blades sliding down your back. Keep your back in neutral. Don't let it arch. And scooping back down again. Reach down towards your ankles. Nice and long. Breathing in. And breathing out. Scooping down you go. Lengthen through. One more. Breathing in. Keep those ribs down. Keep everything steady. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. And reaching back down the mat again. The way down. Very good. Nice. Now with the feet hip width apart, so lengthen those toes out, spread them out. We're going to think about how to lift our head. A big mistake in people's Pilates practice is they strain their necks too much and then it puts them right off. So think about keeping your neck soft in the front. We can place our hands behind our head. We're not too far forward or else we drag on the neck. The elbows are just visible in our peripheral vision. And here we go. Nice breath in. Hands soft behind your head. We're going to come up with the chest. Look at your kneecaps. Now with our chin is just off our chest like there's an apple under there, we're going to get the ribs to do the rest of the work. And there we are getting a really good abdominal curl coming into it. Our head is soft in our hands and we're scooping back as we lengthen through. Now keep the tension of the tummy on the way down as well as on the way up. So we're coming up. Here we go. Look at your knees. Strong tummy. Power up that belly and keep it there. Keep power, keep power, keep power on the return journey. Good. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Head soft in hands. Chest coming forward and scooping back down we go all the way down. Very nice. Now we're going to lengthen down. We're going to try a little bridge and this is going to teach us how to articulate our spine vertebrae by vertebrae as we come up into our bridge. Arms long down. Feet close to your bottom. Open up through your arches. Pressure through the heel and outside of foot, little toe, big toe, all equal pressure. Now we're going to flatten down into the lumbar spine. Keep your chin tucked in. We're going to curl, 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 curl up onto the shoulders. Lengthen the back of the neck. Lengthen the arms. Don't let the back over arch. Keep your pelvis tucked under. We're flat from our knees to our hips to our shoulders in a nice ski slope. Keep your knees gliding over your toes. And we're going to curl down again into the lumbar spine. Slowly, 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 keeping your chin down as we go. Let's go again with that one. Scooping into the back, curling up into the sky. Now this time we're going to add our arms into the sky, stretching low, keep it tucked under. Slowly down to the mat, curling down, scooping into your back and releasing all the way back down again. Breath in. Scooping into the back, curling up, chin down, that's it, lengthen through those knees. Now hold it there, keep it strong, up onto your arms, strong, tummy still on the way down, curling into the mat, all the way into the mat, and down we come again. Very good, nice. Now we're going to just do a little bit of prep stretching before we go forward. We're going to bring that left knee to the chest, we're going to bring it right in, we're going to lengthen the other leg right down the mat, stretch it up nice and long. Point those toes away, pull the toes up, right up, 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 up. Stretch that right leg long way. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Let's get those ankles warmed up, swap legs. Lengthen through again, elbows wide. Get that knee right into the chest, point and flex. If any of these exercises cause you any discomfort at all, stop and move on to the next exercise. And flex and point and flex. Now we're going to do a little bit of a back roll. Just roll your back into the mat just to warm up those back muscles, preparing you for further, more tricky exercises. Here we go. Good. And now we're going to go for a little bit of a twist. Feet are down, arms are down. Feet are nice and wide, knees wide. Let's drop the knees over to one side. Feel that lengthening sensation through your waist muscles. Oh, I feel so nice. And scooping back, let's go to the other side, over there, right into the waist. You can glance the other way with your head as you lengthen away. Nice. And scooping back into the middle again, all the way back. Very good. Now we're going to come into sitting from there. We're going to push the knees away. Let the knees pull her back off the mat. A little bit of a roly-poly, just iron yourself into the mat if it's comfortable. Scoop away. 
I'm going to pop up into a sitting position on the mat. We're going to do a little bit of a mermaid from there. So with the mermaid, we're going to sit with our knees nice and wide, growing up nice and tall through the chest. If it's uncomfortable with your knees or your hips, you can sit on a little block or a cushion underneath your hips until you get that position. It might take a little while. We're going to bring our left hand down to the mat. We're going to over that arm, press through the hand and into the sky with that other shoulder. Looking under your armpit, feel that lovely lengthening through those ribs on the side. You're drawing in the tummy as well. And we're going to come back. We're going to do a counter stretch. Hold onto your shin if you can. And into the side bend, the other side. Open up through your ribs. Work your lifting down. And down again. Let's go the other side. Over there, stretching up through it. And down and over we go, stretching out. And releasing back. We're going to go the other side, just going to spin there now. Let's get your feet nice and wide again. Shoulders down your back, lengthen through, right on the floor. Over you go into a nice side bend, a nice gentle mermaid. Don't overuse the neck and the shoulders, keep that lengthening through. And a little counter stretch. Over you go, side bend into it, looking under your armpit. Give it time, that lovely quadratus lumborum and all those intercostals having a nice stretch. And over you go again. Side bend into it, stretch. And scooping back. Now we're going to come onto all fours. So let's come onto all fours. Now, nice wide base of support in the middle of that mat. Really own your fingers. Don't just sink into your shoulders. Own those fingers and pull the power up into your armpits, right into your lats down your back. Think about unscrewing two honey jars with your hands and bring the power up into your arms. We're going to arch like a cat into the sky. Big stretch like a cat into the sky. Lengthen by the top of the waist, stretching chin down and in. And then drop your shoulders, drop your chest, lengthen through it and look at the front. Oh, nice. And again, curling up into it. Over you go, big stretch into the sky. And drop your shoulder blades down and feel that lovely stretch as you go down into your waist. One more big one, stretching up tall, scroll your into the sky, pull your tummy under, and breathing out, drop your chest back. We're going to go for a bit of a balance from there, so shoulders down your back, lengthen through, you're flat like a picnic table, there's lots of picnic on your back, don't let it fall off. We're going to float the opposite arm and leg away from the midline, stretching it long, 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 scooping it back, let's go the other side, lengthen through. Stretch those arms long. Now keep your tummy drawn under, keep your back in neutral, don't let it arch. There's a big jelly on there, don't let it fall off. And scoop. Let's go one more each side. Shoulders down. Tummy. Lengthen through the head. Keep control. Grow, grow, grow through your fingertips. Last one. Nice breath in. Lengthen away. Keep control. And scooping down. Now toes tucked under. Own those arms a bit further. And lengthen through. Stick your chest sky bottom up into a V shape, push your heels down into the mat and now let's walk along, mobilise those toes, pushing the heel away, push away, push away, push away, keep that bottom high, chin tucked in, stretch, stretch, stretch and down into child's pose, open up your arms, bring your bottom down onto your heels, stretch away, oh nice. Going to take that into a side stretch, left hand, right hand. Push the hip ribs away from your fingers, big stretch through. Let's go to the other side, right of it over and pull away from the floor, stretch your chest out beside you. And the other side, lovely. Going to go to side line from there. Now with the side line, you've got two options on the arm position. You can either have the arm flat along the floor. If you've got neck issues, you can have a cushion. Otherwise, we can go up on our elbow and keep the lengthening, lifting up out of the chest. We're going to go down just for today because this is for beginners. Now, we're keeping your knees bent up, first of all. Let's get yourself stacked. Shoulders over shoulders, hips over hips, knees over knees, ankles over ankles. Coming from there, we're going to think about getting ourselves centred again. Draw the tummy, give it a poke. Draw the tummy in. Firm tummy again. Back is softly and neutral, just as we were when we were lying supine on the mat. Holding it there now, we're going to go for the lengthening through that leg. Single leg stretch, lengthen away, push the heel away, and lengthen away back behind you. Little kick back. So a little kick forward, stretch, 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 and back nice and long. Keep that leg parallel to the floor. 
Your back's not arching, your top's not rocking. Keep your hands soft in the front, stretch forward and squish back. And stretch forward, squish back. Keep checking yourself, keep your alignment going all the way from the top to the bottom. And stretch back. And we're going to take it into circles. Up and round we go, big circles, round we go. Keeping steady, keeping still. Breathing in, breathing out, scoop around. Breathing in, breathing out. And coming back in the middle again. We're going to do a nice open book stretch. Arms are in front, heads long. Round we go, round the back, stretch through the chest. Or as you can, strong belly, look at your hand. Reach your hand forward and scooping back again. Reaching, draw a circle, little semicircle on the sky, all the upper chest. That feels so nice. And one more big one, stretching round, open up your chest, keep your arms low down so you're not overusing them. You can even hold on to that leg if you want an extra stretch. And scooping back. Well done, good job. We're going around the inside because we're going to have to balance ourselves up. It's all about balance and control. You might notice the difference in between both sides even. We're coming down here again. We're lengthening through. Grow long, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, centering, neutral, all going on to your chest chest. We're coming long, we're pushing away. Squish and lengthen away. Little kick. So we're mobilizing those hips, strengthening through the pelvis. Keep your tummy going. And squish, lengthen, push the heel away, point the toe back and forward and back and into circles, round you go. Keep that little neutral spine going, round you go, nice long neck. Both knees coming up, we're going to go that into that chest stretch. Hands down low, round the corner, stretch around the corner, glance at your hand. Again, a little pillow is nice for one of these if you want to keep your neck nice and soft. Reach out, reach the other hand well forward, open up. Go slowly and gradually so you don't shock anything. So get all the little muscles and little ligaments get time to stretch out long, so good. And if you want to hold that front leg, you can hold the front leg and go around a bit further. Oh, lovely. And scooping back again. Very good. Now we're going to spin around our back once more. This time we're going to think about our oblique muscles, the ones that crisscross in front of you. We're going to work those now with the feet nice and wide. Hands behind your head again, like you did earlier on. Just visible in your peripheral. Strong belly. We're going to come up tall through the middle. Now again, we're not going to drag on our neck. We're going to bring our chest forward. And it's all about the ribs coming round the bend. Our neck is still soft in our hands and scooping back down again. Let's go the other side. Up you come. Round you go, stretch and scooping back down. Breath in, breath out, twist to the corner, get your head right around the corner, parallel to your chest. One more, up you come and twist and round you go, back down you go. Brilliant. Now we're just going to briefly talk about lying on your tummy. So prone line. Let's go around onto your belly button. If you've got backache, you might even want to put a little cushion under your hips to help you. Otherwise, here we are. Legs are wide behind us, just hip width apart. Hands are in front. We're going to do a little diamond press. Now we're not going to overuse the neck and head. We're going to keep long through the back of that neck. So keep it nice and long. You're almost going to try and get centered even though you're on your tummy. Try and pull your belly away from the floor, keeping your low back tucked under. And we're going to lengthen through the top of your head. Someone has attached a wire to the top of your head and they're pulling you lengthways long down the mat. Shoulders down your back. Lengthen through. Push with your fingers and your hands and your elbows. You're growing long into the sky. Pull the shoulder blades right down. Don't let, you, don't let it go into your low back. If it's going into your low back, you've gone too high. You need to calm down a bit. And let's go again into the sky. And coming back down again, forehead down. Let's just do two more. Long before you go up, tuck your bottom under, strong belly, push down with the elbows, lengthen through the back of that neck, bring it into your chest, and scooping back down. One more, nice breath in, scooping up, lengthen through, and releasing it down again. Very good. 
And coming all the way, we're going to come up into a child's pose again. Open the knees nice and wide. Bring yourself right down to the floor. Always a child's pose after an extension work is really quite nice just to keep the back open. Big breath in and out. Well done. And squeeze them back. Well done, guys. That was a really good job. So we went through all the different positions. We went through um, supine, crook line with the knees bent. Uh, we did some sideline stuff. We did some prone stuff. So you've got a really good little mix there of keeping yourself centered, neutral, breathing, being in control, being balanced, and repeating the exercise so that you get good muscle memory. And next time we're going to be doing a little intermediate beginner's little routine, and I hope to see you then. Bye now.